Okay, guys, I want to share with you how I organize all the cards that I make. And this is kind of a messy organizational <laughs> video. Everything is not pretty in my office. There's tons of stuff going on. I was filming. I have some projects I need to film. There's stuff that needs to be put away. My computer's freaking out and I'm in the middle of doing a class um, and trying to figure some things out. And so it's kind of messy and it's a Saturday and I thought I would just share with you guys how I organize my cards and kind of what the process looks like in real time. So I have all of these cards here sitting on my desk that are from the last several months. So they're probably going to be some Halloween and some fall and Thanksgiving type cards and then probably some Christmas cards. And I've been stacking all of these in this white basket. So after I make the card, I kind of just put it over here. And I have a lot of cards because when I do classes, I often will have two sets of the same card. I make a set for promoting the class and then I make a set during the class. So I have a lot of duplicates. Um, when I do my blessed to craft monthly, um, those cards, I usually have at least two sets of those. So you'll see duplicates. And so that's why I probably have more than maybe the average person. So when I'm in my workflow and I just, I don't have time to organize things. I just put all the cards into this white basket. Now I've just dumped all of those out. And then you'll notice at the end of my desk here, um, this desk, sorry about all the cords and the heater. And I told you guys, this is just real, real time organizational video. When I put this room together, when we redid the room, um, I, my husband and I put my desk together. So, um, this top part is a hollow door that we painted. And then all of these pieces are different, different things. So these are Alex drawers. And then this was a custom made piece. And when we put all of this together, what worked out perfectly is this little cubby hole. And in here, I have my cord card organization. Now, let me try to, oh God, that's heavy. Sorry to make you guys dizzy. I have an entire video on how I put this together and how I organize my cards and what this is. I will link that video. And then also in my blog post, I'll have all of the links to anything that you guys are wanting. Um, you know, container wise. So in this container, I have just dividers. And I think I might even redo my dividers today. And I just have them. Hello, love, um, thinking of you, congratulations, birthday, thanks. And then these up here are more um, seasonal. And then the only other place that I have cards is over here. On this shelf right here, I have this container, and this container is broke down by month, and so I would go to my December or my November place, and I would grab out all the cards for current birthdays and anniversaries, and um, you can see that some of these I have, they're dirty because I did this so long ago, look, the dust is ridiculous, um, but my idea was, and I was doing this for a very long time, is I have the person's name and then I have the date and what it is. So that would be anniversary. Um, I might have one in here for birthday. Like this one would be a birthday. And the stamp will go over this. And so I want to start utilizing this again. So I want to clean this out. I want to make new dividers. And then I want to go through um, my months and set this up. Um, and I just pull out again, like a lot of this will already be done for me because I'll just get new envelopes and new cards. Um, but this is the other thing. And then I set it right on my shelf that is like outgoing stuff. So let's get busy organizing all this. I think maybe I'll pop you up on my stand and do a time lapse and just show you how I go through these cards and get them all right, organized. So this part, I just wanted to um, explain a little bit of what I was doing. So I dumped out all of the cards that I've recently done. So probably in the last three months, these are cards that I have um, put together. 
and they wouldn't fit in the container that all of my cards go in. Like there's too many of them. So all I do is I just put everything on my desk and then you can see that I'm going through the cards and sorting them into occasions. I pulled all of my Christmas cards out so that I could use them. I end up always having so many Christmas cards um, from year to year. In fact, I use Christmas cards, like even cards that I've done in past years. I just have a stockpile of them now. And then I'm sorting them into like birthday. Uh, my categories are birthday, hello, just thinking of you, love. I have a really tiny um, category for baby cards. I don't have very many of those. Um, and then I think I said thinking of you. And then I just do like a holiday um, set that kind of has all holiday, like fall, a few Halloween cards, um, and then my Christmas cards are just separate. So you can see that's what I'm doing. Some of these have envelopes and some of them don't. And then the other thing that I'm doing is I'm pulling out any cards that I just don't think that I will use or that I don't like. Sometimes I'm a part of swaps or something like that and I get a card that maybe isn't what I want to use. So um, I'm just pulling those out. So now I'm going to go through this container and this container will be linked in my blog post. And I'm just pulling out cards that are, again, older cards or cards I feel like I'm not going to use or maybe ones that I don't like, um, that kind of thing. I'm pulling them out and just going through the sections and then I'm also putting them in the right section. Sometimes they get put in there. And then you did see the divider I pulled out. I'm going to make new dividers that match my room now currently. So I will also um, show you how I do that. And then you can see that there's now a little bit more space in that container. And then here I'm just making dividers um, and I'll show you that process. So Okay, so the very last part of this video I want to share, I took my monthly cards out of this because this tapers, it's kind of weird to see, but it tapers down and you guys might hear my kids outside. They're getting ready to go on a bike ride. So it didn't fit the dividers well. So what I decided is to just use one of my favorite containers. These will be linked in my blog post. I actually, so I had just ordered two of these um, for another space in my room. And so I just went ahead and grabbed one of these because I know I have some more coming. Um, I These dividers now fit so much better and these fit perfectly an envelope and a card, like they're the perfect width. So um, I went through and did new dividers and I just did the black and white and I did um, two different designs so that it's pretty. And then this will sit in the same spot on that white bookshelf, which will be fine. And then in this, what I'm gonna do is um, cards that are a larger size, like this is the slim line and that's a five by seven card and then I have a couple of these kind of random cards. I'm gonna set this directly behind my card organization in that cubby on my desk. So I'll show you that um, in one second. So let me get these put back and then I'll show you where everything is sitting. Okay, I know it's a little bit hard to see, but I've gone through all of these and I've made my new tabs. You can see them right there and I'll give you a better view in one second. This thing is pretty full. So I did go through and pull out a ton of cards that I'm gonna package up for giveaways and other things. And then I have my new dividers in. And then the very next thing I'm gonna work on is this container here and I will show you that as well. All right, here's um, my cards all organized. I'm so glad to have gotten this done. I've been wanting to do it for some time. My dividers are all new, so they match my new room. And then I've also gone through everything and I pulled out a big pile. I'm gonna package those up for giveaways. And then right down there, you can see is where my monthly card sets are. And they're just in one of those clear containers. <laughs> I pulled, I usually have a clear container there and a clear container there. I just ordered two more of those containers because I put one there and then I also have one up here now for my um, favorite monthly card kit that you get when you place an order with me, $35 
or more, um, I immediately send out a little card kit. And this one um, is the one for this month. So I have my postcards there and my card kits and I can just pull them out. Um, and so that those containers work really well. So thanks for joining me today, you guys, to see where my card, um, where I organize my cards and how I keep them um, organized and put away. I'll chat with you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so day. much for hanging out with me today and watching my videos. Here are two other of my most recent videos. I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will catch you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day.